Hello everybody, Diz Don here, and well, I meant to do this vlog last weekend, uh, but things happened in my life, and I was not in the mood to be doing a positive vlog. Um, it turned out really bad, I was really negative, it was not me, um, so we will uh, forgive that, but here's the thing. For those who haven't noticed, I've been uploading mostly Twitch videos lately, and there's a reason for that. I've been streaming pretty consistently uh, on Twitch um, week in, week out for the last couple of months, as you know. Twitch has been my main place lately. Specifically speaking because, well, YouTube started the lovely little notification about the uh, Adpocalypse 2.0, basically. Uh, sometime around, you know, August, September last year where they started demonetizing videos for no fucking reason. Uh, well, it was probably before that, but it really started kicking into gear on my end where they started demonetizing every fucking video uh, back in, like, August, September when, like, I'd upload a stream or I'd stream using Restream and it'd be Mega Man Maker. And then all of a sudden we'd, we'd have 100 plus views, right? While I was streaming with all you lovely people, I'd be playing your levels and everything. And then all of a sudden, the uh, analytics, uh, AI bot, whatever the hell that they sick on all the videos to make sure they're content ready, goes in and it's like, oh, demonetized because does not fit the ad, uh, the ad advertisers' spec uh, expectations for content. It's like, but what would be their expectation of content? I don't swear any more than PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, or Mark Blart. I don't um, say racist things like PewDiePie or Logan Paul or the other Paul who's also an asshole. Um, I'm mostly a good, happy, positive person. And when I'm swearing, it's like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I screwed up. I messed up in the game. Like I, like when I do bad, I swear at the game. I don't swear at you guys. I don't swear like to like say negative things to be a, to be offensive. It's just how I speak. It's how I've always spoken to myself since I became an adult. When I'm playing video games, like I will be sitting there quiet, and then something bad will happen. Be like, oh fuck, oh shit, god damn it, stupid, stupid, stupid. I gotta not do that next time. So that is. Sorry, my hair's a mess. But that is kind of the thing that, you know, happened. And so since then, I've been drifting f over to Twitch. And now that I'm almost exclusively over there, I'm uploading videos that are basically, you know, either full or part of my Twitch streams. Um, I've noticed that the views have gone down. I know. Um, comments have gone down. Um, I had a really big period around Christmas where... Like, people were really into it because of the contest I was doing. I might do more contests going forward now that I'm back on uh, regular income, hopefully. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But basically, the situation is this. I'm over on Twitch. YouTube is my upload of the Twitch. Because Twitch has this lovely thing where unless it's a clip or a highlight that you make from a video, after like 90 days, it's gone. Um, I've got a couple uploaded videos that I had um, that are still there after months, so I'd have to upload there. But the video on demand stuff, the um, and the the video on demand, the clips, the highlights, the um, vodcasts, which is taking your video on demand uploads or um, previous streams and basically replaying them as if they were live. Those sorts of things, um, they don't get the same viewers because there's not the interaction there. there I, when you're not live on Twitch, people aren't usually watching you. Or if they're watching your channel, it's because you're hosting someone else. Like like what I do, because I'm a member of Brutaism and a couple other like affiliated uh, streamers here, but besides them that I uh, know... I have auto host where I will auto host a channel when I'm offline and then it'll host them until they go offline and then it'll look back at my list of auto hosts and go to the next one. Um, or I will 
slash like in my chat I'll slash host enter in the name of somebody who's streaming that I want to host like later today I'm gonna be hosting Steve-O doing a step mania on so I'll go slash host worst best friends and I'll host them for a couple of hours you know so that's kind of the way it goes is unless I'm hosting or live um usually the views aren't there and that's kind of the way Twitch is. You have to be live. You have to be live like as much as possible or at least you know have somewhat of a consistent schedule. My schedule will be getting going from one consistent to a different consistent um, after I adjust my new job, which I'm starting tomorrow. Um, from when I'm recording this, I'll already have started it once this is uploaded. But basically the thing is that it's all become more Twitch, Twitch highlight, Twitch archive stuff on YouTube. And I know that you guys don't necessarily deserve that. You deserve more of my time and energy. But on the other hand, there are still some Project D things that are exclusively YouTube, like my Star Wars crack fit. I will be doing more of those. Probably won't be doing the next one until after Last Jedi comes out in a couple weeks on uh, DVD uh, and uh, digital. Because my wife and I have plenty of fucking ideas for these. Uh, we just need to get on that. Um, we had some things that happened. My grandmother died. We had to go to a funeral last weekend. Um, so, you know, it, this shit went all topsy-turvy last week. And so, you know, I was in a bad mood. I was in a bad place. I was going to upload this really negative vlog that basically would explain the same thing that I'm doing here. And basically say... I, I was very close to basically saying, you know, fuck YouTube, I'm basically out. And just don't expect any new content from me except for Twitch. So, I, it's only half true. Um, I might, you know, take, like, what I did with the Doki Doki. Um, take old streams or old videos or whatever and remix them into like a highlight reel of funny moments, good moments, best moments, like so that, and then that way at the end of those short, like five, six, seven minute videos, they will redirect you to the, um, to the playlist. Cause I got the end screen stuff, the end screen stuff. So it'll have the little thing at the end that'll redirect people to, okay, this is the, sh this is the playlist that has these things in it that I saw. And then they can watch it from there. And that's kind of going to be where I'm aiming now is I'm going to do my Twitch uploads and then some highlighted Twitch stuff. Um, I'm not going to upload all of the highlight or all of the Twitch streams for like my Overwatch, my Fortnite, my PUBG, like a lot of the stuff that's more, more event based, I guess would be the way to put it. Or like match by match in Overwatch, maybe if I had a good one, depending on whether or not I'm listening to background music. Not like it matters. I've been demonetized completely now. Thank you, YouTube, for your new regulations. That was great. Um, so I'm also going to take this moment of time to direct you to my Patreon. Patreon.com slash DizDumpPlays. You back me there. You help ensure that you get early access to some of these projects that I'm working on. Like I will post updates like, Hey, I'm working on this thing. Expect it soon. And with the star Wars crack vid, because of the monetization problems I had with the original version of it, where it got completely taken down for a fake crawl that I had on it. Um, that what happened is I put it in like unlisted and then linked the unlisted video to my Twitch as an early act or my uh, Patreon, sorry, my Patreon as early access for Patreon backers. So Patreon only people get would get early access to those types of videos, and that's going to be the plan. There's also like tiers where like if you're part of my Discord server, you uh, get privileges to suggest me games to play. And now that I'm over on Twitch, it's not just going to be like, oh, I'm going to play for 30 minutes and. Blah, it's done. No, what's going to happen now is you're going to suggest a game for me to play. I will do a stream on Twitch. It'll be an hour, two hours, three hours. And if it's a multiplayer game, if it's like, say, Town of Salem or Ark Survival Evolved or something where I have the game, you have the game, you can join me. I have a live stream open access channel on my Discord where if you have a voice, 
If you have a microphone like this bad boy, well, not like this bad boy, you know, you could have a headset mic, whatever. But if you have a microphone and are on my Discord server and I'm streaming a multiplayer game, you can join me in the game, talk to me while we're playing. We could, we can have a good fucking time. And if you're also a person with a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel, I'll shout you out. I always do. I shout out worst best friends. I shout out my brew people. I shout out fucking whiskey in the jam jar sometimes. I shout out fucking Shay O'Reilly in the Grammar Club, Club, whom I've done. How many, how many fucking videos have I played with Shay O'Reilly and Trench from Worst Best Friends in fucking <laughs> the, the freaking uh, Friday the 13th at this point? And now that Worst Best Friends is basically doing every Sunday, like for at least an hour, they're going to be doing uh, Friday the 13th because they love the game. It's just going to be so much more like, ugh, I'm going to be playing that with them more. Uh, Shay O'Reilly tries to do once a week. Um, little uh, friends on friends only friends and band members only uh friday the 13th video stuff uh whether he's streaming it or just you know playing to dick around so like i am i am now sort of you know blossoming as it were um i'm extending my reach and i'm i want to ex- extend that to you guys i want you guys to like come join me and, you know, come hang with me. And that's why I got to Twitch. So, you know, twitch.tv slash plays. Come find me. You know, I go live. I have my go live notifications if you turn on notifications. Um, or if not, like, I try to schedule to be about the same time all the time. Um, and also, if you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash plays. Jeez. And my Dizdon plays everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> if you look up Dizdon plays, like, fucking everywhere. Um, but the thing is, I will go have go live notifications on my Twitter. I have go live notifications on my Twitch. If you're one of my fa- friends and fam- close friends and family on my Facebook, I'm not giving that one out to you guys. Bye. No, 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 never. Uh, <laughs> for reasons. Uh, I go. I have the go live notifications on my Twitter, uh, the Discord too. So it's like everywhere that you can find me, I usually have a little, at least a link when I go live or I'm about to go live and telling you what game I'm going to be playing. So, you know, follow me on all the pl- all the platforms. You usually you get some sort of idea of when and where and what I'm playing. But that's part one. Part two will be in the next video. Sorry, guys. You guys got to deal with me again. I got a two or three part vlog coming up here. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Go find my Discord. All those links will hopefully be down in the uh, description. If not, you can find them pretty freaking easily. Um, So don't worry. I'll be back. Have a good one, guys.